Hi guys, I'm the Cube Solver. This is the third part of my CFOP tutorial series, and I will be teaching you on how to do the OLL or orientation of the last layer for beginners. This tutorial is to look OLL, which means that you have to assess this last layer twice and do two algorithms to orient the last layer. Our goal obviously is to orient all the yellow pieces at the top. The first thing to do is to have a yellow cross by orienting the edges, these four edges. If you already have a cross, then you may proceed to corner orientation. Remember to just look at the edges when you are assessing the situation. There are only three cases in orienting the edges. If you have an L-shaped like this one, there are two correct adjacent edges and you must face the right one at the front and the other one at the right. And you have to do this algorithm, front, these two front sides, right, up, right prime, up prime, and bring back the front side. Now we already have the cross. If you have a straight line like this one, this is a straight line, there are two correct opposite edges, and you must not face any of these edges. That means it should be on your right and at the left. Almost the same algorithm, front, right, up, right prime, up prime, and front prime. If you have a dot like this one, this is only a dot, there are no correct edge and you can face any side. Just do the algorithm for the straight line, then for the L-shaped. It goes like this, for the straight line, front, right, up right prime up prime now you don't have to do the last part which is the front prime because the first part of the l shape algorithm is moving the two front sides so we just have to move this standing layer clockwise right up right prime up prime and these two front sides now we have the cross next we will orient the corners there are seven cases with this one. If there are two incorrect corners and they are at the opposite side, face the yellow side of this one at the front and the other one at the right. Make sure that you see both the yellow sides. We look at the cube like this. The algorithm goes like this. Face the bottom side. Okay, X means that when you look at the right side turn the whole cube clockwise okay right prime up right down prime right prime up right and down now we already oriented the last layer just a technique when you don't see white pieces at the right then it is a move for the top side when you see these white pieces at the right, then it is a move for the bottom side, except for the first move, of course. If there are two incorrect corners like this one, they are next to each other, and they are facing different direction. What I mean by that is the yellow side of the corner pieces are facing different direction. Place the two incorrect at the left. The steps are almost the same with the algorithm earlier. Face the bottom side, left, up, right prime, up prime, left prime, up, right, up prime. Now we already oriented the last layer. There's a technique also, when you see white pieces at the top, then it is the move for the left side, except for the first move, of course. When you don't see white pieces at the top, then it is a move for the right side. If there are two incorrect edges, and they are facing the same direction, they are next to each other, and they are facing the same direction, face the two incorrect edges, and do this algorithm. Right 180 degrees down, right prime up 180 degrees, right down prime, right prime up 180 degrees, and right prime. Just a technique to remember the algorithm better. Our moves are always alternate. 
R2D and then R prime. U2, R, D prime and then R again. U2 and R prime. If there are three incorrect edges and when you place the right one at the front, one corner is facing its yellow side. If you will move this right one to the other side, there will be no yellow facing you. Okay, so that means it should be like this. There should be a yellow facing you. This is what we call as soon, since that the yellow facing you is at the right. And the algorithm goes like this. Right up, right prime up, right up 180 degrees and right prime. Now, if there are three incorrect edges and when you place the right one at the front, one corner is facing you its yellow side. If you will move the right one to the other side, there will be no yellow facing you. But there should be. This is what we call as anti soon since that it is on the left. This is the opposite of the earlier case. The algorithm goes like this. Left prime up, left up prime, left prime up 180 degrees and left. Just a reminder for soon and anti soon. It is soon if the yellow side of the corner at the right is facing you and you must start the algorithm with an R. It is anti soon if the yellow side of the corner at the left is facing you and you must start with an L prime. Now if all corners are incorrect and the two in here are facing the same direction and the other two at the opposite side is also facing the same direction, face either of the two corners facing the same direction. Okay, do this algorithm front and then you have to do this three times right up right prime up prime right up right prime up prime right up right prime up prime and the front prime that's it if all corners are incorrect and the two in here is facing the same direction but the other two are not they are facing the different direction Place the two facing the same direction at the left and do this algorithm. Right up 180 degrees. Right 180 degrees. Up prime. Right 180 degrees. Up prime. Right 180 degrees. Up 180 degrees and right. Just a technique. Our moves are always alternate. Another if you will notice the algorithm is mirrored. Started and ended with R. The second from the first and second to the last is U2. The third from the first and third from the last step is R2. And as well as with the U prime. That's it. We're done. If you managed to solve it, leave a like in this tutorial. Tell your thoughts in the comments and don't forget to click the subscribe button. Thank you for watching.